Hey, what's up, everybody? We got an unboxing here for you. Boker Knives AK-1 American Tonto. I believe this is a collaboration with Daily Knives. And uh, we're going to take a look at this guy. Ordered this from Blade HQ for about just under $130. And I don't know if you guys have experienced Blade HQ's shipping speed, but let me tell you something. Definitely leaves a little something to be desired. Now let's go ahead and uh, get into this box here and take a look. So here we got the knife and what came in the box here. Got a Kydex sheath. Little taco sheath. Got a pocket clip. Looks pretty cool. couple of uh, little quality control tags, little Torx bit driver, a couple of manuals, the knife itself, and a box that's pretty decent. Uh, I appreciate this kind of box. Benchmade's been using this kind of box lately, Microtech. Basically you have a top and a bottom and they come apart. Better than uh, dealing with those little flaps. So here's the knife, and I'll clear this stuff out of the way, and we're going to show this guy off here in a moment. This is a uh, total overall length of 6.85 inches. Now these are just specs from their website. Uh, blade length of 2.99 inches. Blade thickness of 0 0.10. Kind of thin there, nice and slicey looking. Uh, the weight on this guy is 2.36 ounces, and it's quite small, i got to say. So I bought quite a few uh, small EDC fixed blades over the past year, just kind of something I got into. I always think they're going to be really handy and useful, and then I just end up not really carrying them. A folder is just easier for me, personally. I want to like carrying one of these knives, but it just always seems like they get in the way or I feel kind of weird walking around with something like this. This one's pretty compact though. Might be able to pull it off with this guy. I wear a large medical glove. Fits my hand pretty good. The handle's definitely on the small side. The blade is compact. The steel on this guy is N690. It's got a belt satin finish on the flats there, or on the secondary bevel, the primary bevel. The flat part looks like a stone wash. A little lanyard attachment point back here. And uh, I'm going to show you some size comparisons with a few knives that are similar in size. Put this guy right here. We've got a small Sabenza. We've got a Benchmade 940. So you can see that it's a pretty small knife. And this... Uh, pretty much concludes the video here. I'll have a little slide at the end with all the specifications. I'll have a link down below if you want to purchase one of these guys. I probably recommend not Blade HQ if you want to get it anytime in the near future because they are slow. Alrighty. Let's uh Let's call this one.